Hey guys, welcome to our channel Tricks World. I'm Atish Ranjan and today I'm going to talk about creating database in cPanel of your Bluehost web hosting. So first of all go to bluehost.com, click on login, then enter your credentials and click on login. So once you are logged in, you will be directed to this page that is the home page of the, your dashboard at bluehost.com so first of all click on cPanel okay so wait for it to load the page when the page is loaded scroll down and find the database tools there you will find uh, so many options for database you have to click on mysql databases just click on that okay so now you will be directed to the page where you can create the database here you can see this one this is the database initials this is generally of generally there in shared hosting whatever the name you give for your database will be added to this like give uh, give a name like is test 34 okay so and create click on create database and wait for it now you will see that the database is created and this is the name of database not just this not just this this is complete database name okay so you have to consider this click on go back since you have created a database mysql database you have to create the database user as well for this scroll down and you will see here add a new user just give it uh, any name you want uh, let's take tst user tst user okay and for password just you give the password you want um, just i'm taking this copy and paste here and here okay now click on create a user so now as you can see the user database user has been created as well now go back now data now you have created a database and a database user but there is no relation between them and you have so you have to add this user to the database you have created okay so for this again scroll down and you will see the option add a user to a database so select the user that you have created we have created this one right test tst user and the database we have created so the database we have created was test 34 okay so the user and the database are selected click add and now you will be asked to give the privileges there are so many privileges you have to give basically uh, just select all and click make changes this is uh, this is an important step you can't miss it you have to do it now the process is complete you have created a database a database user generated the password and given all the privileges now what you have to do is keep the details like database name database user and the password uh, in a safe place so that when you have to enter uh, anywhere in codes uh, to connect to your website or web page to this database then you can use that for example when you create a date uh, wordpress website manually then you have to create a database and connect connect to that as well because you can't run a WordPress website without a database. So when you create manually, you have to create uh, create the database manually as well. Uh, 
and then these details like database name database user and password you have to enter in the wp-config.php file so you you first you create this and keep the details and then then when you create a wordpress website and upload the files uh, to your web host web hosting cpanel and uh, there you have to open the wp config wp-config.php file and enter the database details and your then your website will be connected to this database that's it so this is how you can create the database mysql database in cpanel of your bluehost web hosting in fact uh, the process is uh, similar in all the web hosting companies uh, which offer cpanel just you can see the difference in the ui and the process is almost same because cpanel is uh, similar everywhere but uh, different webs different uh, hosting companies customize uh, their pages a bit so they may look different but when you are using cpanel the process will always be same so this is how we can create a database user database and database user and cpanel of bluehost web hosting so i think this is very useful and hope you like it if you like it please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the new videos that we add so thank you for watching have a good day